Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 2018 Hot Wheels 2 Jets. Now this was designed by Luis Rodriguez and this won the 2018 Hot Wheels Legends 50th Anniversary Tour. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one of only two vehicles in the car pack, that is a Hot Wheels Legends car pack, to uh, not look anything like the car that it is based on because this actually is based on a Nissan 300ZX chassis but it's been gone to town on with a uh, whole fighter jet kind of look going to it so it's got loads of decals as you can see uh, talking about like uh, you know uh, intakes and stuff like that and then it's also got a riveted body and then also a canopy as you can see one seater as well so hardly the most practical of things uh, can we get inside it? Is it going to let us? I don't know why it's not letting us in to be honest but yeah uh, if it would let us in, you will be able to see that uh, there's uh, also like uh, afterburner buttons and stuff like that inside. I might be able to show you when we uh, start driving out on the open road. But yeah, still, it looks great and it's uh, clearly had a lot of attention to detail put to it. Not just because, you know, it's a completely uh, different body to the uh, chassis that it's based on, but also because it's got a uh, really rather uh, good engine uh, powering it. It's got the uh, 2JZ engine from the Toyota Supra, so it's a 3 litre turbocharged inline 6. But unlike that standard engine, this now has 639 horsepower and 636 pounds feet of torque, which is a uh, huge amount. Extremely large, uh, especially considering it's now weighing only 1,740 pounds, and all of that power is going through the rear wheels only. So, uh, yeah, it's a little tricky to drive this, to be honest, but. I think it looks really, really rather good, and it's no surprise that it won because, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like just, you know, a slightly uh, rearranged normal car by any means. It's, uh, yeah, looks like nothing else that you'd ever see out there. So, uh, yeah, let's get out onto the open road and see what this vehicle can do. So yeah, I'll show you where the interior first, just as you can see it's got a uh, an afterburner button on the right there and the engine start button and then you've got a, a do not pull handle, I imagine that's evoking a, uh, an ejector seat and then you've got these uh, really rather nice black and white dials, though it only goes up to 120 mile an hour for some reason and this car can certainly do far more than that and I also like the fact that the uh, canopy has a uh, orange tint to it so it really does make this game look far different than it normally is. But yeah, this car is hugely powerful, uh, as I said earlier, and uh, yeah, because it's so lightweight, it's uh, yeah, ridiculously quick. This is not only the most powerful car in the Hot Wheels uh, Legends car pack in terms of horsepower, slightly less than the uh, Ford Dually in terms of torque, but definitely the most powerful in terms of horsepower. It's not. It's also the lightest, and it's the fastest in terms of top speed as well. But before we get to that, I'll let you listen to the engine for a little bit, and then we'll talk about it some more. So yeah, as you can see, it's easy to uh, slide, but it's also easy to uh, get it wrong, because, you know, it's only rear-wheel drive, it's got very little in the way of weight, and it's got a huge amount of power and torque going through those rear wheels, but yeah, as long as you're on your A game, you will be able to have plenty of fun with driving this. You've just got to be really careful and far more talented than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, it's not helped by the lack of downforce on the rear end. I know it's got those two little spoilers, but you really do need, preferably, something a bit bigger than those to help keep that rear end down. But regardless, this is able to do not 60 in 3.6 seconds up to 106.169 seconds and go to a top speed of 184 miles an hour which is, yeah, like I said, the quickest car out of the car pack in terms of top speed and acceleration so yeah, really really do like this no surprise that it's won in 2018 but yeah, it's yeah definitely a handful and uh, I imagine it would be quite tricky to race you know, seriously I'm sure you could drive a bit around and you know, have fun with it, but when it comes to actual competition, I imagine you need to upgrade it a fair old bit to uh, make it competitive, really, because, yeah, it accelerates like nothing 
else in the car park and you know, has the higher top speed but outside of that it's not the most controllable out of the car park by any means but that's kind of the excitement about it it does feel like a fighter jet in that regard that you're always on the limit of not only the thing that you're in but also the physics itself so uh, yeah gets that across really rather well and I do at the end of the day love the look of it and the amount of attention to detail that has gone into it as well so uh, yeah this is the final car from the uh, Hot Wheels Legends car pack like I've said in previous videos it's £7.99 in the UK and then your equivalent currency of anywhere else and uh, yeah it's well worth getting six really 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 detailed vehicles you might not like all of them but there are definitely four here that I really like and the other two are still fairly good but just not quite as great as the other four but either way four out of six isn't bad and uh, yeah 7.99 is more than worth it for the amount of uh, extra gameplay you get out of this game by having new cars and you know you can upgrade them you can you know go on online and uh, see how they do there or just race them in normal races on the single player and yeah have plenty of fun with them but nonetheless thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye